It happened on a clear Central Florida morning like this one. There is a plane that has apparently gone down and crashed into a house in Sanford. When I looked through my back window, it was horrible. And they were trying to revive the sun. You really don't know what to say, you don't know what to think. July 10th, 2007, a private plane dropped out of the sky, slammed into a neighborhood. Please help us! Listen, we had units in route, ma'am. I want everybody to get away from that house. Okay, that's two houses! It's two houses? Two houses, are, are there houses fully involved? No warning whatsoever, nothing. Millie Deschat and her family. A strong, loud noise and fire. We're in one of those homes. To see the ceiling of your house falling on the top of you, it's just like, it's unbelievable. The fire burned 25% of Millie's body. Her four-year-old daughter, Gabriella, died. Her then-husband, Peter, survived, burns over 85% of his body. And her 10-year-old son, Danny, also horribly burned. Parents are supposed to protect your kids. You know, and your house is supposed to be the safest place for your kids. What are the odds of a small plane crashing into your home? Barely 12 hours later, and Danny was on an air ambulance landing here in Cincinnati, Ohio. He had burns over 97% of his body, and one of the best children's burn centers in America is at a hospital here in Cincinnati. It's called Shriners Hospital for Children. I remember being on the floor when the call came in. Social worker Donna McCartney among the first to see Danny here. Incredibly significant burn injury. Millie Deschat did not know how bad Danny was until she got a call in her hospital room a week after the crash. They were saying they were going to do our best that we can to, to try to save him, but it's no guarantee. And to me, while I was healing in the hospital, to hear that about my only son it was just unbearable. But despite the horror of what happened here, despite the odds this little boy faced, there's a high chance that a child might not survive that injury. Danny made it. I think there were a lot of heroes. He's 18 now, and he wants you to know he's okay. I'm recovered, and you know I'm doing really well. Danny was at Shriners for nine months after the crash, then periodic visits for years after that. Went against the odds, you know. He's had many surgeries, and there are visible scars, but Danny says he's happy, a high school senior thinking about college. He says this awful day it happened so fast is now mostly gone from his memory. From the initial accident, I don't really remember that many things. Turn this tragedy into triumph. But he knows a lot of people prayed for him. A lot of people helped. A lot of the people that I that helped me along the way are definitely heroes. Robert Winter is part of Life Center Organ Donor Network, the group secured tissue that helped save Danny, whose recovery is so astounding. Life Center put his story in its 2012 calendar. When you hear somebody tell their personal story, it means so much more. It really does. All who know Danny Happy agree, making it. From here. Hey, yeah, you're to see Danny. Look at how tall he got. To here. He's definitely one of the miracles. It's hard to explain, but definitely something to celebrate. I don't know, I overcame the odds somehow. Tom Johnson. It's a miracle. Fox 35 News.